Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP, just with a uh, EV hybrid type fault we've got in the workshop today. Just want to explain our rationale of how we're going about it. We've got a 2010 uh, Series 40 uh, Camry hybrid, very, very common, popular car. So 240,000 Ks on the clock, that's already a bit of a red, pot, a red, red flag to me. And when it came in, it got brought in on a tow truck, codes unable to clear. It had two codes in there uh, relating to hybrid voltage system isolation fault, and that's in the hybrid control, and also in the, in the ABS uh, saying there's a regenerative braking fault, so both of those. We did have trouble clearing the fault codes, but eventually we were able to clear them, and I've just taken it for a really good run. In during, during the running, I could feel a real vibration, particularly under regenerative braking. So that's already telling me that we've got some sort of issue in the regenerative braking area, MG1 or MG2. Whilst I was on the road test, being the fault codes came up, I went again, brought it back in the shop. Just re-scanned it, and interestingly enough, I used a different scan tool, and it, in this particular case, only picked up the ABS uh, regenerative braking fault, not the insulation fault. Thought that was interesting, grabbed another scan tool, put it on, and again, it picked up both the voltage uh, isolation fault, the PA, sorry, POAA6, and then the other one was the C1295 regenerative braking malfunction. So, interesting enough, watch your scan tool. Some don't pick up certain things, others pick others. So if you're not sure, grab your second or your third scan tool and double check that you're getting all the information you need. So in this particular case, high mileage, we've got a co, a, a, a two codes coming up at the same time, an insulation fault code, and we've got a regenerative fault. So that tells us that basically, we believe at this stage, there's gonna be a problem in either MG1 or MG2, the two main motors in this particular vehicle. So what we're gonna now do is depower the vehicle. We're gonna get our testers onto those two motors and see if we can pick up something. Either in milli-ohm testing or in a DAR test or with the All Test Pro. The sort of equipment we're gonna be using and using on the EV and hybrid training. So if you're really interested in this sort of stuff and wanna attend our training, all the links are below on this post. But I'll do another video to show you what we find with this particular vehicle. But at this point in time, we're suspecting a fault in MG number two. But our test will prove that down the track. See you next time.